Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to MC Eternal. So, since last episode, I've done a bit of work around the base, basically just building out our slate, and our marble, and a little bit of skystone uh, bricks. And then this right here is glowing glass. Um, I did some little tiles work. Glowing glass with actually a bit of glowstone on the bottom, because the glowing glass won't... Um, won't transfer its light unless I have glowstone. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. And uh, then down here, which originally I did the glowing glass. Originally I did the glowing glass because I thought it would transfer the light and then it didn't. So I might end up changing the colors, but we'll see. We shall see. Like the glass and just keeping the glowstone on the bottom. I don't know yet. Um, might look at some alternative glass colors, but we'll see. And um, then down here, I've actually got, um, of course, that's all coal. And then around this edge is experience seeds, a lot of those planted. And then right here, I have wood, just three of those, and then three water seeds. And I actually did a bit of breeding. Of course, when we left off, I was breeding experience seeds. And we're going to be doing something with that this episode, but... Um, I ended up, I'll type one, um, ended up getting 10, 10, 10 on wood and water as well. Water, not a whole lot of point in it, <laughs> but I went ahead and did it anyways, right? And I actually did just craft, um, item conduits. I've been on here for a little bit, if you couldn't tell. Um, but, uh, yeah, we have a lot, a lot of materials. Like, I did craft up a couple storage upgrades, and then I threw in one storage upgrade into this. Um, wait a second. I'm going to disable that side. I did not realize that filled up and stopped crafting coal. Which is fine. It didn't. We didn't run out of coal and all's well with the world. But anyways, that's up and running now. But you can see right here we have uh, 344 stacks of coal essence. 36 stacks of wood essence. 383 stacks of experience essence and 29 stacks of water essence. So these 10, 10, 10 seeds are insane. Like there's no growth acceleration at all. This is not on fertile soil. They just grow crazy fast. And then in addition, while I was breeding up the experience seeds, um, whoa. Did I use that many? I bumped up, I maxed out cooking speeds, melting efficiency, grain thumb, and harvest efficiency. Um, just because I was using some of those things, I was smelting up a lot of sky stone and uh, glass to make this and just different things. So I ended up bumping these up. And I actually had 75 levels, 73 levels, but I might have used them all for that, which is fine. That's fine. Um, what we're going to do, first and foremost, um, and actually over here... Let's see. This, we're going to be using this in just a minute. I had one of these, but I think I lost it when the dragon attacked me. Uh, let me get a crafting table on the stick, and then let's pop over here. We're going to go ahead and just really, really quickly. We're going to max out some skills, because we have tons of this stuff. I'm just going to do this the really quick way and just shift right click to eat whole stacks of these things. Oops, I didn't mean to do that many, but that's fine. I mean, we're wasting XP, but at this point, we we honestly, we have like infinite experience, so. That's A-OK. -okay. But I did bump up to item conduits just because this thing, the item transfer nodes, they just could not keep up. This even um, sometimes doesn't keep up, as you can see. We're going to have to get speed upgrades for that. Um, but I think what we're going to do, let's go ahead let's go ahead and get our specializations. So we've got those. And then let's go ahead and just start capping out skills. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Just clearing out right now. 
This is what we're doing. There we go. And then we'll just rip through these real quick. I need a bit more levels, but I haven't even gotten below 300 stacks of experience essence at this point. Once you get experience seeds, and especially having Agricraft uh, for the 10 10 10s, it's like, it's so easy <laughs> to just have all the experience you could ever want. And normally I don't go with magical crops, at least not early game. Um, except for like certain things. Like I'm actually working towards them on Enigmatica, but that's more for slate and skystone purposes for building and not so much for material purposes. But in this pack, we're just kind of having, I mean, this is a kitchen sink pack. So we're just kind of having a bit of fun. Plus we're kind of working up through challenges or towards challenges anyways. Um, which we might possibly finish the challenge today. Maybe even two, we'll see. Because I'm actually pretty close to finishing out the playtime challenge. Um, we're at 99%. So yeah, we'll probably finish that out today, I imagine. Because the playtime challenge wasn't all that high, especially if you spend any time building. Um, it really doesn't take very long to get that. That's like the um, time since last death. That was... That was a pretty easy one as well, but some of the other ones we're going to have our work cut out for us a bit more than uh, these first couple that we're knocking out. Alright, we are on the home stretch now. I figure we'll just knock this out. And there's one other leveling system in this pack, and we'll knock that out one, that one out as well today. Just kind of capping out some levels. Let's see. Quest complete. Time played. Alright. And boom. There we go. We are now 100% maxed out on all skills. Yay. And then we'll just go ahead and eat the rest of these. And I guess I don't really need this book anymore. I don't think. And the other one we need to do is right here. Uh, we can go ahead and knock through the uh, so, and this one doesn't use like it doesn't waste levels. So what we can do in this case is, uh, and I'm gonna have to set up an auto crafter for these experience droplets uh, before too long, but we'll be starting on that soon enough. Okay, there's 105 levels. Let's go ahead. Boom! 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 boom. Uh, let's see, I don't want passive aiding, but I do want this one. And I need magic leveled up for the other one. It's actually possible we, we might not be able to cap out uh, those. I mean, I think we probably could because I've still got 184. I think we probably could, but I think it would use like most all of my XP uh, but one thing I want to look at is the experience levels uh, we need 5,000 levels but my question is if we did that 21 levels okay it does add them in so you don't actually need 5,000 XP levels worth. I mean, you could do, you could turn in level one 5,000 times and get that. So that's actually not too bad. Um, that is a lot of levels, of course. But, and really, honestly, once I get these auto crafted, I could just turn these in. Because one pop of these, because once you get up to these levels, you know, you're not getting a whole lot of levels out of it. Um, but what we could do is just do like a batch at a time or a couple batches at a time or something. But we'll see. There we go. That one's maxed. Start knocking through these, I guess. 
And farming, we can go ahead and get Green Thumb. That knocks out farming for us. Okay, I've used up pretty much all of our experience essence. We have... Yeah, there's another stack. I mean, it generates stacks actually very, very quickly. But we have about 100, almost 160 levels. So we should be all set now to go ahead and finish these out, I think. Um, let's go ahead and just knock out what we can. Hopefully it's enough for all of them, though I don't think that it's going to be. But we'll see. And whatever we can't get right now, we'll come back later on in the episode to finish out. Or we could just max it all right now. That's fine, too. <laughs> okay, we've got all the farming skills. Let's go ahead and get Undershirt. There's Battle Spirit, Diffuse. The only thing I don't want is the Hungry Farmer. Or the... Yeah, Hungry Farmer. Because... Auto eating is bad news. It's very, very bad news. Roadwalk. And then we've got uh, auto step up. And side steps, which takes 10 skill points. We can't get that, so that's fine. I'm okay with that. And then some fishing and drop guarantee. Fossil and Obsidian Smasher. Okay. Yeah. So anyways, we've kept out all of those. So we are pretty much skill cap now. Ah. Oh, <laughs> this spade is crazy. It's crazy. Alright, now the next thing I want to do... Oh, i got to get used to the speed, though. That's the only thing. Which you can hit L and it'll turn off uh, level up skills. So there is that. Um, but what I want to do is I want to grab a bit of this essence and let's go ahead and we're going to make our very first Supremium Essence quest completed. We're going to get back to that here in just a second, but we get a creative modifier and 250 gold. So there's that. And then down here, Mystical Agriculture, we get some gold for that as well. Surprise, there is not a quest for the... Oh, the good crystal. Master Infusion Crystal. Okay, so for this we need four Supremium Essence. That's what I want to go for first. Okay, I'm going to have to make another... I've, I've refined a bit more of that than I probably should have before. That's fine. These things aren't expensive for us, so it's no biggie. But I figure we'll go ahead and get the better infusion crystal. And before long, we're going to be making quite a few of these. Because we're going to need them. Let me go ahead and just get a few more. And let me go ahead and get two diamonds also. Alright, so there's our infusion crystal. And let me go ahead and just convert all of this. We're going to be setting up, once we get a few, oh, once we get a few Master Infusion Crystals, we're going to go ahead and set up Auto um, Conversion. There's that. And then I'm going to go ahead and convert. Actually, I think we need, um, for that quest, oh, we need just Insanium Ingots for that. So that'll be a bit later on. That's fine. But let's go ahead and get our Master Infusion Crystal. There we go. And then what I need to do is I need to get three more Supremium Essence. Um, and that way, well, really I need eight of these and eight Insanium, which is going to take a little while. But I, what I would like to do is get some better seeds going. But I do have all of this, so... Okay, well, there's eight Supremium. So we're going to go ahead and grab one of our Inferium Seeds. And we're going to go ahead and bump it up to a Tier 5. So there's that. And we'll go ahead and just put that away for now. And what I would like to do... 
go ahead and just pull these up. Grab our tier five. There we go. And actually, let me go ahead and just pull up this. And I'm going to go ahead and just drop that down there. We're going to go ahead and triple stack on this one. And the reason being, I only want one of these, really. And this will make this will be more effective once we get into um, once we get into our tier six seeds because those we're going to want a lot of. But I'm going to go ahead and set up the infrastructure so that we have it. Um, so we have it for a bit later. And we'll be able to use it just by dropping in the new seed. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, I should go ahead and just uh, drop that in there. 5,000 levels. It's a lot of levels. Mainly just a lot of going in and clicking, ex like, submit. More than anything, I think. Um, and also, this creative modifier... Uh, too worried about creative flight right this second. Uh, let's go ahead, drop that on there, and that way I can get um, unbreakable pick. There we go. Infinite durability pickaxe. Awesome. All right, so what I want is I want to get a mechanical user. Just one of these, which I should have everything for this. So there's our mechanical user. And then I'm also going to want some kind of a vacuum. Let's see, I think I'm just going to go with the vacuumulator because this is going to be a lot cheaper for me at the moment. Okay, so there is our vacuumulator. Awesome. And then all we have to do now is um, we set up the vacuumulator setting, say, right here. It's going to pull in items. We put our mechanical user right there. There we go. Activate block with item. And it's going to send the items into the vacuumulator for us. And that way I can just leave this here, let it run. Let me make sure it's chunk loaded. Um, it should be. And I can just let this set and run and build up tier 5 seeds. Just AFK like. But once we get up to the tier 6 and I get that farm laid out, what I'm probably going to do is fill out the farm, turn off the harvester for a little bit, and let the plants grow, and then come through. And we can really increase the amount of seeds that we get. Like get a, a nice little amount started with this and then go from there, I think. But we'll get to that a bit later. Okay, um, I spent a little bit of time, I've got experiences built back up, 52, and I'm just going to kind of work on this between episodes, I think, and just build this up. Right now I've got 1,608 experience levels saved in there, and I did change this over to street glass. You know, I mentioned that I didn't really like it, um, particularly with the gold glass. Originally I did that because I was trying to get something that glowed, because the plants wouldn't glow uh, wouldn't grow with mana glass on top. Oh, and I forgot to leave my space open here. And this is basically just so that we can get down there. Where did I put it? Right here. We're going to be starting into... Um, oh, we're going to be starting into Applied Energistics here pretty soon. Just a heads up. Um, let's go ahead and open that up. That way I can pop down there. Okay, and let's see. Right now, we've gotten one seed off of this. That's fine. Now, what I'm going to do next, because I do think next episode we're going to be working on like a full project, but we're kind of having some fun with the experience and kind of cleaning up a bit of mystical agriculture, magical crops, um, this episode. And I did some counting. How many ingots are we actually going to need to finish out all these quests? And the answer is 104. We're going to need 104 
ingots to start with, and that's going to give us the 64 insanium and all that stuff that we need uh, for these quests. So, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm not going to have enough for all of these, that's for sure. Or am I? Actually, yeah, I think I might. Now, I'll be close. But we're going to go ahead and get 64 base essence ingots. And it seems like I just finished a quest or something. Okay. We can get all but 14 of them right now. And, yeah, I don't have enough prosperity. That's fine. That is fine. And then what we need to do is start upgrading these into the higher tier ingots. Because... I'm going to go ahead and open that up. We're going to be setting this up here in just a minute. And I did just refine a bunch of this, so we're not going to have a ton of it. But luckily with Inferium level, we're really not going to need a lot of it. Truth be told. And we can just do this. Do that. And quest complete. And then I've got to upgrade these. But basically these are going to be taking taken through different tiers because we need to get the ingots, we need to get the watering cans, we need to get the paxels. Um, and then there's also the Inferium furnaces and seed reprocessors, which we're going to need. And I believe, yeah, these are going to tear up in each case. So I'm going to let the essence build up a little bit, but we'll be finishing out um, this entire tab over the coming days or coming episodes, Cave Finder. Basically as things build up, um, but let's go ahead, now that we've got plenty of water essence, let's go ahead and grab a bit of that, and we should be good to go on making the Inferium level stuff, at least. The watering can, uh, requiring base essence ingots, fertilized essence. Oh, you know what? That's something that I actually don't have. Is fertilized essence, but it's pretty easy to gather um, with a large farm, and especially with like high levels of green thumb. Oh, but you know what? I don't think I can get fertilized essence off crop sticks. No, I'm not gonna be able to get it off of crop sticks though. Okay, one second. Let me just grab like a handful of. Uh, I'll take these experience seeds and then we can just lay these out but all in all I only need like 15 fertilized essence and I don't know if it's in the shop no it's not in the shop yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a few more of these and plant them down and then might give it a little bit of time to see if the auto harvester will collect them because that would be ideal and these are all just going to be experience seeds for right now oh and then we're going to need 16 mystical fertilizer here for a quest so three crafts so I'm going to need another 12 right there Oh, but once we get the experience done, we'll get a creative watering can. So there is that. Um, okay, so I'm going to let that sit for a little bit and see if we get some fertilized essence out of it. Um, and we'll go ahead and skip over to the uh, the, the other quest because we still need to get the Inferium Paxel. And we're going to need, uh, I think, three Inferium Tool Cores. So I'm going to need an additional three base essence ingots. Um, and all I'm going to do is just... And I think it's base level for the like the Prudentium Paxel, right? It's base essence ingots. Oh no, we have to upgrade the tool cores. Okay, that's fine. Which means I'm going to need another 15 that are base essence ingots. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw those into the stack. I'm going to have to go farming for, um, farming for some more uh, base essence stuff, but that's fine. Um, and then for the tool core, we're going to need Flint, Inferium, Gold. And I'm basically, I'm going to want 15 of these. And we're going to have to tear these up as we go, kind of. Uh, there's that. There's that. 
and really more than anything just to get uh, these quests knocked out. So there's 15 of those. Oh, and we're leveling. That's what we're doing. Okay. Just turn that in. There we go. <laughs> It's going to be something, I'll probably get it done like in the next couple episodes, have that finished out. Because it's really not that bad. It's just basically a lot of clicking and turning in more than anything. Um, okay, so we've got those. And then we're going to have to get its shovel, pick, and sword, right? Yeah, shovel, pick, and, uh, or not pick and sword, pick and axe, yeah. And then I'm going to need these. A bunch of those. I'm actually going to have to go mining for a minute. Get some prosperity. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go get some prosperity shards real quick. Because we're not going to be able to finish this out without prosperity. I guess I could make a scanner maybe. But, I don't know. This stuff's usually not too rare. So. And I could make the upgrade for my sword. And pick and stuff so we get prosperity. But. I don't know. It's not like we need a lot of it since we can duplicate, you know, pretty much everything from the mod. Aha, here we go. This is a nice little batch. And I think, I want to say it spawns in the nether too, which might be a really good place to go farm it up. Um, oh, we found another vampire. Another vampire den. Vampire book. Okay. And I guess I'll go ahead and take these. And since we found a couple of these, I'm going to go ahead. Ah, I can break it. Awesome. Quest completed. Altar of Inspiration. That, that. And we got a golden egg. And then that and that. And we got a peacock feather fan. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and steal these castle blocks. Thank you kindly. Okay, um, just got back, got a decent amount of prosperity. Um, I mean, it's not great, it's not going to be enough for everything that we need, but it's a decent amount. And, um, we can go ahead and get ourselves, I'm going to take just all the mystical sticks that we can get. I don't think that that's a, uh, mistake. <laughs> I don't think. So... There's that. There's that. And then we can get our... Um... Paxel. There we go. Quest complete. Inferium Paxel. Boom, boom. And we got 32 magenta stained glass. That's good. I'll take that for sure. And... Dump out... I also need to get to go ahead and get the furnace and the um, seed reprocessor. Though I will say, with us using Agricraft, we're probably not going to be using seed reprocessors because they're just not very valuable to us, in all honesty. And eventually this area, I plan on upgrading these all to like max furnaces, but that won't be until we have lots of spare essence. So... There we go. There's our Inferium Furnace. Which a lot of these are just kind of knockout quests. Just get them over with. Seed Reprocessor. Uh, and we need Tier 2 Inferium Seeds and a Block of Solium. Okay, well I've got... I've got this Soul Dust. Let me go ahead and just get this smelted up. And what's nice is we have a chance to, like, double on these. Like, even stuff that, like, wouldn't normally be doubled, we have a chance to double it. So that's pretty nice. Let's pop over. And I need to get up to the tier 6 seeds. So I don't know how much, um, how much higher tier essence I want to spend at the moment. Because I am trying to build up that. We did get a fertilized essence. So what we need to do is just let this sit. And let this build up. Uh, for our watering cans and the quest for the mystical fertilizer. And then I need to build up and get six, or I mean eight, Insanium Essence so that we can get uh, tier six seeds. And that way we'll be totally done with the seed side of things, which would be nice. 
I mean, I've got the Prudentium. I just don't think I want to use it right this second. Because right now, I think I'd be better suited just... Um, uh, we'll just build it up. And then once I get the seeds that we need, then I'll... Um, then I'll start using it. So, because at that point, that's the point when we're going to start filling out the fields and everything. So, there we go. One Insanium. <laughs> okay, now the, the other thing I want to do this episode, uh, just really, really quickly, just to, because uh, right now we're, we're starting to get to the point where the harvester that's over here is starting to fill up. And so what I want to do is I want to get a crafter, and I would like to get one of these from RF Tools, ideally. Uh, oops. So this right here, a couple crafting tables, a couple redstone torches, and we're going to go ahead and tear it up as well, all the way up to the tier three, because uh, it can hold more recipes. And I've done this in the past, in past series, so it's nothing terribly new for us, but it is a tried and true system. All right, so what we'll do, we'll go ahead and start with our six redstone torches, and we've got our six crafting tables, and then this whole process is actually pretty quick. We need one of these, and advancement, and then we need a crafter, tier two, tier three. Easy as pie. And then what we're going to do, wow, it's foggy. Crazy foggy. Let me grab these item conduits. Let me grab this enhanced energy conduits. Let me grab these frame drawers. And for right now, we'll start with just four. And then um, I think is what we'll do. Because eventually it's going to handle six different things. But it's going to be a while before I need those other two things. So... Yeah, we'll just do these for right now. Um, and then I'm going to need two, two single drawers. Yeah, that's fine. And then um, let me also grab this. And that, and that, and that. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's pop over to this. And let's go ahead and put a conduit down right here. And I'm going to want our drawer to go right here. And let's go ahead and slot in that. And Prudentium. And Intermedium. And then we're also going to have that uh, Supremium as well. Then I also want our drawer key. Which is supposed to go up there in a glass case. But I had it down here because I was using it. And then... Got sidetracked. So we're going to go ahead and just lock that in right there. And I think, well, actually, let me move it. Yeah, let me move it back by one to right there. Huh, it looks like it ate my essence. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> it wasn't like it was that much, so it's no biggie. It's whatever. And then what we're going to do, let's clear out some of this. I'll build around it a little bit later. Like here soon. And let me grab... Let's see. Let me grab our flux point. This thing's going to go right here. And we're going to have our crafter tier 3 set up right back here. Because once all this is in place, we won't actually need the crafter tier 3. Uh, like at all. And then we're going to go ahead and just run out a conduit line. Pop down here. We're going to say that you can extract. And it's always active. It's going to go to there. And then it's also going to come up to this drawer network system. Um, which will eventually be a drawer here as well. It's going to have two singles and then a quadruple is the plan. Then we'll just go ahead and run that through. Okay. And that's pretty much all the conduit work we need. And then what we're going to do is on the extract, it's on green. And we are going to say that 
you, before I do this, I should lock that. And let me grab one of these. Okay, you can deposit. Now, I'm not going to put any upgrades in this. Eight stack limit is fine. That is more than an, enough, honestly, um, I do believe. And we're going to say that you can insert. It's going to be a priority of 10 on the insert. And we're not going to allow it to extract. So priority of 10, it can insert. And that's starting to build up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a couple of recipes here. Yeah, like a stack of this is fine. And in the first recipe, we're going to put in, uh, which really I could have probably gone with like a tier two and made this work, but I like the tier threes and they're cheap. So uh, first recipe, we're going to say the result of crafting operation will go to output buffer, stay in input buffer. Um, and we're going to set it right here to EXTC. And that way it doesn't put our crystal into the output because we don't want that to happen. And then for the recipe, we're going to put that, 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 and apply. That makes Prudentium Essence. And I'm going to go ahead and make this again, even though we are, ideally I would have a couple of these uh, Master Infusion Crystals in here because it would just make the process faster. Um, but this might actually be fine for keeping up. And uh, let's do, yeah, let's do one more. And that way it can basically, we're going to set it to uh, fast speed, ignore redstone, and yeah, apply. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll just throw this in, throw this in, boom, it made our Prudentium Essence. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put that into there, just to lock it in. I'm going to take it back out, but... Um, and on the X, on the bottom of this, we're going to say that you can insert, it's going to be a priority of zero, so it's going to prioritize these drawers. Then once the drawer is filled, I mean, you can see Inferium, it's already getting close to being filled up. Then it'll move on and start dumping all the essence into this and upscaling it and then trying the process again. And so on this recipe, we're going to say that, once again, it's EXTC, and we're going to say Master Infusion Crystal and Prudentium like that, makes the intermedium. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do this one twice. Even though I think this is overkill. We've done this in the past for like the super uh, systems, but I don't think this is going to be like a super system. This is just going to be kind of like, you know, here's some essence sort of thing. Um, but we'll go ahead and throw that in there. And there's four intermedium essence. And we'll go ahead and just toss that into there, pull that back out. And then lastly, uh, for what we're setting up right now, EXTC, oops, that goes there, that, 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 and apply. We only need one of these and dump that in there. There's our Supremium Essence or uh, Superium Essence. And we'll go ahead and slot that into there. So then it can go ahead and kick through all this stuff. Once this drawer is filled, then it's all going to start upscaling and then all start upscaling, all start upscaling. And then if I need to upscale it like more, all I got to do is grab a bunch of the essence, throw it into the crafter and it's going to take care of the work for us. So, um, and we are going to, um, we are going to lock some slots on this, but... I guess we'd go ahead and lock slots, I suppose. Because I've got one Insanium. Let me go ahead. Well, I'll tell you what, we could actually go ahead and teach it the other recipes for now. Just because. We're going to say EXTC and that plus. That makes Supremium, and then EXTC, that, and then for Supremium makes our Insanium Essence. And then what we're going to do, one other thing I almost forgot to do is on the bottom of this, uh, we're going to set Self Feed to Enabled. So if it extracts it and it can't go into the drawers, then it can feed it back into this on the same channel line. So I almost forgot about that. 
And then I could go ahead... Yeah, let me go ahead and just grab a stack of this. And for just a second, I'm going to set this to... Oh, it's still on Never Active. Great. Um, yeah, it already fed in a little bit. So let's go ahead and... Let me actually just break one of these down really quick. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say Redstone Mode is on to activate. And we're going to start filling this out a little bit like that. And then we're going to go like five of these, maybe a few more, maybe an entire line of those. Because these bottom ones actually don't need many slots because they just don't get made very easily. And then we'll do like three of those, or maybe better yet, do that, that. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to say, uh, remember the current items in the internal and external. And that way, it's going to lock them in. Now, if I add another crystal later on, which I very well might do, we'll see if we have any backup problems, though. Really, I don't think that we'll need it, truth be told, but we'll go ahead and set that to ignore redstone, and extract is always active. There we go. It's going to start pumping that stuff out now. And really, I could go ahead and just take... this stuff out there we go but if I end up making another crystal and I need and I need the speed increase then what I'll do is I'll just um, do that I'll just um, remove one of those uh, inferior essence and slot it right there but honestly I think I don't know. I think even with a full-size farm, I don't know, full-size farm with tier 6, we might need um, a second crystal, but we'll see. I've got to get some more fertile soil made for this area. And then once we get the creative watering can, I'm probably going to put a automatic user on top of this and just let it use that creative watering can on this field. Not permanently, because honestly, after a few hours of running like that, we're probably not going to need any more essence, like, at all. <laughs> We're probably going to reach a point where it's like, okay, we need to void this stuff. Um, especially setting it up early into a pack like this. Just to get it out of the way. But yeah, we'll probably use it to help boost up our, uh, our system at the start. So, and I love having this glowstone on the bottom. Because I have constant lights. But yeah, so that way this can build up and I don't have to manually... Do that. I was pretty much just waiting for the Master Infusion Crystal before we started doing that. So, And then this can just kind of passively build up. And then in the next couple episodes, depending on... I'm probably going to start recording the next one pretty soon. Because with the current system of having to go elsewhere to upload, um, I kind of do my off-camera stuff kind of in bulk and then my recording in bulk. Um, unless there's something I need to do, you know, for a bit off-camera, so... And this, we're going to put a drawer controller on this a bit lighter, but, yeah. We're already up to 100 stacks of, basically 100 stacks of experience seeds. It's crazy. It's just crazy. So, but yeah, so anyways, I'm going to end out this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button. And go ahead and subscribe, if you're not already, to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys next time.